Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be playing the original Legend of Zelda on the NES. Let us begin. And here we are carrying our Bible. Well, it looks like it's a shield, but it looks like he's holding the Bible. And you have no sword, no nothing, so you gotta go into the first obvious place. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. A wooden sword. And where'd the old man go? Either way. Alright, so this really game released in 1986. This is uh, what I consider to be... Uh, well, there were action RPGs before. I think there was an... Uh, what do you call it? An Atari 2600 game called Adventure. Which kind of plays like this in a way. But... Um, I don't know, it's a very primitive... I would say Adventure is the very first type of uh, action RPG that Legend of Zelda kind of um, kind of like uh, ref refined well as far as any NES games go it refined it but yeah so the this is one of the first games I played that I consider to be open world like it just felt like you just go anywhere and you know I think this one is a little. Uh, this is one of the more. This is one of the more non-linear Zelda games, but you can. There's a certain order that you can probably uh, do the dungeons with, but I. I don't know. I usually when I play this game, I. I used to get lost all the time when I played this way back then, and uh, I would always have to go with the. Um, oh crap! Like I didn't own this game, but I knew I knew people in my neighborhood who did. And you know, I played Legend of Zelda, but I would always get lost. Like, it, I liked. Ow. I went down sideways. Meet the old man at the grave. Okay. But yeah, I would always get lost, and I would have to rely on asking somebody where to go and what to do. Sometimes I would just get, you know, just explore and find stuff. I'm like, okay. But I never really had major playtime with The Legend of Zelda. Because, you know, I'd be visiting a friend and I'd only get so much time to play The Legend of Zelda. What do you say? She says nothing. Okay, I am low on the health. I better try play it safely here. Oh, a little bit of slowdown. Oh! Don't kill me! Oh, yes. <clears throat> ah, we got a bomb. It's a good thing about, uh, and I'm dead. Okay, so they restart at the start of the game. I didn't really lose much except for maybe a bomb that I gained. So I know not to, um, well, I need to find some hearts. Also, finding some hearts, I need to get some new equipment, like, as you progress through the game, you can get better. You can get a better sword. You can get better um, cloaks that you know halves the damage. Okay, I'm just gonna wandlessly aim around. Aim around. Wander around for a while. Aimlessly is what I meant to say. I have no idea what the. I think these. Um, these, these, what do you call it? Those jumping spiders are called tectites or something. Tectites, tectites, I believe. Okay, if I had a bomb, I would open. Uh, oh crap! I would open the. Uh, there's a, there's a, what do you call it? A secret place, secret place right here. I remember because, well, growing up, that's one of the first things I've seen people discover or show me how they. Well, where where it is? Sometimes it would just be word of mouth that I would find these things. Could you imagine playing this game for hours and just bombing every screen hoping to find a secret? Like I can picture people just like checking off, like making their own maps and checking off. Uh, nope, no no bombable walls here. Because the map is only so big. 
I guess like it while well, it seems like there are infinite this game to me this game felt infinite when I was a kid like uh, there was no ending to all the secrets you could find Okay, let's go in this hole here this cave buy something will ya um I'm gonna get yeah I'm gonna get that I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go uh, open I'm gonna go blast that door open just gonna avoid everybody right now no enemies respawning okay all right so I just gotta plant the bomb here wait for that to go there we go and what do we have here take any one you want okay so that bottle of sweet chili right there to the left is just it just refills your life what you want is the heart look at that oops okay let's get out of here oops okay that was kind of a waste but Yeah, many, many night, many hours of uh, playing Legend of Zelda has been had with this one here. I remember when the first time I played Legend of Zelda 2, I thought it was, I thought it was like very different, and uh, I didn't, I didn't hate it. But I'm guessing that people who uh, were expecting another game like in the vein of this one were disappointed. But I can see why they. Uh, to try to do something different I mean like if they made a sequel Zelda 2 like in this the way this game is made it probably would have felt too same it would have felt too similar but um, yeah oh. oh come on there we go okay just wanted to make sure I got that I need some hearts I'm not low on hell. Ow! I don't know why I say ow. I guess, uh, oh. I'm not a LARPer by any means. I've never done LARPing, but, uh, sometimes I'll get myself into the, into the, I'll get myself into the game, and I tend to say ow, just because, oh, look at that. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh. He killed me instantly. I think if I select continue, I still have my stuff. That's awesome. All right, so I know that there's a place where I can go. Ow. But those, um, those night guys immediately, like, not hit one, uh, like, just took two hits and I was dead. Okay, where did I go? Oh, I hate these flying things. I don't know what they're called. Hmm. It feels like there's a secret around here somewhere. By that rock there. I'm just wondering. Ah. Put a bomb on it. Okay, nothing. So, I have, I'm not an avid player of The Legend of Zelda. I've never beaten this game. I played this... Um, I've only really played this back in the early 90s. Even when uh, Virtual Console came out and uh, it, uh, and when you're able to emulate this, I didn't I didn't choose this game to play a lot of. Okay, I don't really need anything here. I do need that bigger shield though. So I'm just gonna explore a little bit. There's a game that I've always wanted to play, even though it's not that great. Is are the CDI Legend of Zelda games? Like I don't know, they suck, but I I'm very curious of as how they play. I don't know, like. Uh, I always pick the stance if if a game 
is not commercially available any anywhere any anymore, then by all means, find a way to play it. You know, you can find a very easy way to play games that are no longer available. Because I don't think they will ever re-release, uh, what do you call it? I don't think they will ever re-release um, the Legend of Zelda CDI games. Okay, let's see up here. Okay, there's a key there, but I don't know what the... Okay, these are valuable items, but I don't know... I don't know. Why is this one 160 compared to the 130 at the other one? Hmm. I still only have 29 uh, rupees. Okay, we'll just leave that alone for now. Okay, this is the area I was in. I want to kill these guys first. They got in the way quite a bit. Ow. See, there I go saying ow again. Like I'm, I'm the one who's actually feeling pain. Gotcha. Okay, I think I can get these guys awake by barely touching them. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, well, leave, leave me alone. Oh, he's trying to stop me from going in. It's a secret to everybody. Yes, it is. Only ten. Well, better than nothing. What about you? Nothing? Okay. Alright, so I risked my life for some rupees. Focus on one. Ah! Oh. Barely escaped with my life. Okay, I need to find some easier enemies to kill. Alright. Bomb. 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 Aha. Can I wake these guys? Nope. Oh, leave me alone. Leave! Okay, <laughs> that was close. Alright, let's try this again. I wake this guy up? No. Get ready to leave. Oh. And he and he walks slow. It's a secret, yes, to everybody. Oh nice. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I need some easy enemies like these guys. I just need more of that if I want to survive. Oh, tactites, tactites, tic tacs. Do these guys wake up too? Okay, I'm not gonna cause myself trouble by. I got lost. What the hell? This doesn't make any sense. Okay, I guess that. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, I think with this one, you can just keep going north, and eventually you'll get somewhere. Even though it looks like the exact same thing over and over again. There we go. Ah, uh, leave me alone. Okay, let's get in here. I think if we die here, we can restart. Oh, this is level 5. Okay, if we die here, we can restart here. Oh no! It's the jumping rabbit heads. I think what they're called is Paul's voice. I don't know if these guys can die. I think you can kill them with the bomb, but I don't have a... I don't want to use up my bombs yet. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. I know that there, I think there is a, uh, a level one dungeon somewhere. Okay, I think I'm just gonna keep going down if I go through there. 
Okay, let's get go up, 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 up. Oh, this guy. This guy can cause quite a bit of trouble. Got him. When in doubt, use bombs. Master using it and you can have it. I think I need a certain amount of hearts before I can grab that. Either way, you can get hearts by um, finding secret uh, hearts or defeating a boss. Because when you defeat a boss, they leave behind a heart. Please let me let me out of here. I've been a good boy. Okay, um, I am lost in the mountains. Okay, if I can keep going this way, because I found a way up here, but all of a sudden I can't find a way out of here. Keep going. Keep going. These mountains won't let me leave now. Hmm. How do I get out of here? Well, I guess I'll just have to go west. Ah, and I'm dead. Well, I'm going to close off the video here, and, uh, yeah, I think I wandered around quite a bit for now. Um, so I'm just going to say just thanks for joining me in today. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it, and we will catch you next time with a different game. Until then, we'll see ya. Have a good one.